Hey guys, Brandon from RCGC here, bringing you guys the full info for the TF2 update titled simply the Gunmetal Update. Uh, right here we have the simple all this, just a little you know background image thing, throwing off some of the stuff that's being added. Uh, of course we have a part one, part two. Both parts were released today, and uh, the update is coming out tomorrow. With this, it also came out with a new comic, and if we get time to it, we might might we're not guaranteeing this. We might do like some sort of dramatic reading with with John and someone else. But, um, again, this is might not happen. Miss Falling needs a few good men killed. Your tireless f your your tireless fixer is under the fire from the administrator to keep the, bo the body count up, and she needs two things. One, executing black bag kill contracts, and two, landing the contracts by drafting and submitting detailed preliminary supplier side bundled service proposals. Since you're a dangerous murderer who probably reads at a third grade level, probably me, <laughs> uh, we have a pretty good idea which one of you can help her with. Introducing the Gun Metal Campaign, five dollars U.S. Uh, the Gun Metal Campaign is a three-month event new to the Team Fortress universe. For the first time, test your metal on a battle on a on a variety of skill-based contracts with one-of-a-kind weapons and exclusive weapon cases as a reward. Get your contracts here. You'll be assigned two new skill-based contracts each week for the length of the Gunmetal Campaign. Every contract will give you a new challenge as well as an advanced level objective worth bonus points. Get a kill with a reflected projectile as a pyro, survive a thousand damage in a single life as heavy, kill an airborne enemy with, a, with your secondary weapon as a soldier. Whenever you complete a contract, you'll earn a campaign exclusive weapon or unlockable case. The top guns. The weapons you'll get from collecting for completing contracts are one of a kind. Every weapon is given a unique placed paint job so that it will always look a little different from anyone else's. Weapons come in six grades of variety and are further modified by first levels of wear from factory new to battle scar. Check out the FAQ for a model for a more detailed breakdown of rarity, which John will be uh, discussing in a second. As soon as I'm done here, he will transition in and he will do all that. Uh, here's some examples of the qualities, the factory new, which of course looks all brand new and shiny, field tested, which looks a little bit damaged, and battle scarred, which just completely looks all screwed up. Uh, your campaign coin, buying access to the gun metal campaign puts a campaign pass in your inventory, just click it on it to activate it and it will transform into a campaign coin and throw in you into the thick of things. Your coins keep track of your progress on active contracts, levels up, level levels up as you complete them and shows off your level to other players on the scoreboard. So essentially it's kind of like the more missions you do or whatever this little thing uh, levels up. As you can see here it's kind of like a little five cent coin to a bronze or a silver, bronze, gold sort of thing. And I'm guessing gold is like the top, you're on the top of leaderboards all the time sort of thing. Uh, community map makers, a portion of the sales from the campaign passes will go towards hardworking TF2 community map makers. Uh, should be, I'm guessing that, uh, I can't really click anything, or I'm just guessing that just links to the FAQ, which of course Sean will be covering uh, after this. Introducing the Gun Metal Collections. Complete contracts earn unique weapons from, from four visually distinct collections. Weapons from Two Fort and Craftsman Collections are only available by collecting contracts, and the Powerhouse and Concealed Killer Edge Collections are only available through weapon cases. You can see here we have the Two Fort Collection, the Craftsman Collection, the Concealed Killer Collection, and the Powerhouse Collection, which of course I will link a I will put a link in the description below, and you can get, check out all these collections for yourself, all the weapon skins and all that. Uh, and then the best case scenario: campaign exclusive weapons found in lockable cr cases will also have a chance to contain a strange compatibility compatibility with a stat module, a rare chance of being unusual, and a higher and a highly rare chance of both. So it looks like we're actually getting unusual effects with these weapons. As you can see, the rocket launch right here is smoking at the end. It's all painted and has a stat clock, which, in other words, if you guys play CSGO, obviously you'll you'll see a lot of this, as this is obviously highly inspired by CSGO um, and the whole stat tracks and the weapon customization, all that. As you can see here, it's got a stat clock, which is kind of like it works kind of like a strange, where every time you kill someone, that little counter goes up by one, and so on and so forth. Keep your eyes on the prize. New in-game animation will let you check out any gun metal campaign weapon you've got equipped in-game at the push of a button. And also, just like CSGO, you in the CSGO game, um, if you have a weapon skin, you can press like the F key or something or whatever you have it bind to, and you can go and visually inspect your gun. It'll the guy will like turn the gun around, check the clip or magazine like he just did there, so on and so forth.
And here we have a little, we have the heavy looking at the contract to kill Scout, the blue Scout. Um, all right, now let's get on to part two of this gunmetal update. As soon as the webpage lo loads, because this is being slow as hell. Uh, part two. Welcome to Powerhouse. Hydroelectric damage. The densely packed, fast-paced powerhouse is TF2's first three-point C point. C oh God. The fast-paced powerhouse is TF2's first three-point CP map. Commit voiceful cries against nature and the environmentally conscious shadow of a clean, renewable energy source. Uh, not really much here. Just a little picture of what I'm guessing is one of the little gateways out onto the battlefield. Uh, community created maps. A portion of the money made from sales of campaign passes will go to the authors of these three community maps. Remember to submit your maps to the workshop beta, which will be linked in the description below. We have board. I'm going to butcher these names terribly, at least the first two. Um, I'm guessing this is Borneo single stage alpine themed payload map. Ma map makers Sean Heo Cutino and Matt Vihalin. I, I, like I said again, I'm going to butcher these names. Um, then we have Sujin. Sujin is a King of the Hill map, which is obviously Japanese Japanese inspired. Uh, map makers Frisia, E. Arkham, Kevin, Ravage, Brook, and Maxim, Fubar, Dupes. Again, I'm going to butcher these names. I am terribly sorry, but you know me. Snowplow. Snowplow is a two stage CP AD map, and I'm not really going to read those names off or kind of just go over that one because I'm pretty sure you all know what this one's from. Obviously, I'm not going to mention it. And here we go, choose your weapon, we've brought together the best parts of stealing and murdering in one guilt-free activity. Players have always dropped their equipped weapons when they die, but now if it's a weapon your class can equip, you can pick it up and make it and take it for a test drive. You can even change loadouts on the fly. Plus you get the plus you get that weapon forever. Until you die. In the game. Not your life. Essentially what you're able to do is now you're able to take um if you have say you're let's say this picture for an example, if you are a soldier so you have just the default rocket launcher, and then you kill another soldier, he has a weapon similar to yours, or like, he has a rocket launcher that is like painted, like that one. You can take that off his corpse and use that, or say you have a rocket launcher and uh, the guy that you kill has a direct hit, and you want to use that for a while, you can take that, so on and so forth with almost each gun, but it has to be a class-specific weapon, like a soldier cannot take a revolver off a spy, that's just dumb. Here we go, we have new taunts, and I really like these. The cat, again, this is, I'm going to butcher some of these names. Kaz, Kaz, Kazotsky Kick, dance like the KGB isn't watching. When you think of the Soviet Union, you think of one thing, the freedom to love, to laugh and love and sing and dance. Uh, here we go, we have a video of it. Oh, God. Little visual. I'm not going to show those because it kind of lags out. Uh, I'm just going to link it in the description so you guys can see. The box trot. Think outside the box while hiding inside one. No one will think to look for you inside of a moving box with your legs sticking out of the bottom. It's a perfect disguise for anyone no one is looking for. For the person no one is looking for. I don't know if I butched that. I'm not going back. As you can see, it's a obvious reference to the Metal Gear Solid series where Solid Snake or whoever I'm playing it. Sorry, I don't really play the Metal of... Uh, God, I suck right now. The uh, Metal Gear series, so sorry about that. I don't really know much about the series. All I know is that you can d hide in a box occasionally. Again, sorry, I don't really play that series. The pro, the proletarian. Well, the <laughs> I suck at speaking. The proletariat pose down with win the arms race. As a TFT player, you've worked hard for that body. Sees that means of astonished faces. Pr production with a pose down for the people. Of course, it's like a uh, little like just that, essentially. This little pow pow firepower thing. Anyway, we have new achievements, the power and the glory, powerhouse achievements, balance of power. Win a round on powerhouse in which the enemy team has attempted to capture your final ch control point. Power down. Kill 15 enemies while they are capturing a point on powerhouse. The power and the glory. Win 142 rounds on powerhouse. Went work. Kill 5 enemies on powerhouse while they are in the water. Power trip on powerhouse, cap capture the final control point within 15 seconds of your team capturing the previous control point. And here we have surgery in progress or gunmetal gameplay changes. Uh, I'm just going to go over the gameplay changes. Uh, I'm not really going to go over all of this because this is a lot to read and not much time to upload. 
Um, plus, I'd be probably sitting here for an hour trying to read all this, so I'm just going to go with the gameplay changes and read those off real quick. New feature, weapon exchange, which I have already covered. Inspect target, already covered. Random damage spread is off by default. Convar, TF, underscore damage, underscore disable spread is set to 1. Auto reload is on by default. Convar, CL, underscore auto reload 1. Existing users will still use their currency. Currently set value, the setting can be changed under advanced options or through the developer console. And updated various weapon descriptions to better detail the weapon's features. Now that I am done reading my part, John will now take it over from here, reading you all the FAQ for this upcoming update. Hope you guys enjoyed my part. Now here is John. Do the do. Why hasn't the transition gun? John, John, just edit something. Ah, yeah. Ah, oh, jeez. We good? We good? All right, we're good. God damn it, Brandon. All right, hey guys, John here with the. Frequently asked questions section of the gunmetal update for Team Fortress 2. So what's the gunmetal campaign? It works very similar to Counter-Strike, actually. The gunmetal campaign is a limited time event that will run at least three months and maybe a little longer. Purchasing access to the campaign will automatically put a campaign pass in your inventory that, when activated, converts into a contract coin. It officially makes you eligible to receive contracts, participating gives you two contracts a week for the duration of the campaign and when completed will earn you campaign exclusive weapons and unlockable weapon cases. What are contracts? They are skill based challenges you receive that award you with contract points CP as you progress through the challenge. You can earn up to 100 CP per contract doing normal objectives at which point you can turn the contract in to receive either a exclusive weapon or an exclusive weapon, I should say, or an unlockable weapon case. I will say something down below, a few sections down, to help explain the difference between those. Once you've earned 100 CP, you also have the option to hold on to the contract for a bit to earn an additional 30 CP by doing some advanced objectives to level up your contract coin faster. You'll need 1,000 points to level your coin to bronze, 2,000 to silver, and 3,000 to gold. What is a contract coin? Contract coin is a non-tradable coin that will track your progress and various other stats throughout the campaign. Your coin keeps track of your progress on active con on active contracts, I almost said active controls, level up as you complete with them, and shows off your progression level to other players on the scoreboard. What kind of weapons will I get for completing contracts? Completing contracts earns you weapons or unlockable weapon cases of variety of variety of various wear and rarity grades from one of four collections all that's explained down here we'll get on in a second weapons from the two fort and craftsman collections are available through completing contracts while weapons from the powerhouse and concealed killer collections are only available in weapons cases campaign exclusive weapons are one of a kind how rare are these weapons one of a kind Every weapon is given a uniquely placed paint job so that it will always look a little different than your friends. I'm not sure what that means. Weapons further come in six grades of rarity, civilian, freelance, mercenary, commando, assassin, or elite. Further modified by five levels of wear. Factory new, minimal wear, field tested, well worn, and battle scarred. Counter-Strike players remember that one. Completing contracts will earn you either a weapon from a collection of rarity grades 1 to 4, civilian, freelance, merc, or commando, but using an unlockable weapon case, which you must pay to unlock, rewards you with 3 to 6. So, merc, commando, assassin, or elite. Merc and commando are the only constants between them, and even then, but you're gambling to get one of those with the free track, but you'll be getting at least one of those, or the better two with the paid ones. Campaign exclusive weapons found in unlockable cases also have a chance to contain strange quality, rare chance of being unusual, and an insanely rare chance of being rare stranges. Will these weapons affect gameplay and or give me competitive advantage? Nope. Campaign exclusive weapons are purely cosmetic. What's the difference between crates and these new weapon crates? 
Cases are dropped randomly and contain a random selection of items. Weapon cases are only accessible through participation in the campaign and exclusive to campaign. You can only be received as direct rewards for completing contracts. Crates. Crate keys will not open weapon cases. Only campaign specific keys will open weapon cases. Everyone remember this. I know there's going to be threads on the TF2 form. Why can't my Manco Supply crate open the weapon case? This is why. If the gunmail update started a few weeks ago and I just heard about it, what happens if I buy a campaign pass now? Purchasing access further into the campaign will still earn you the same number of contracts as someone who purchased access on day one. Access will no longer be available for purchase through the last month of the campaign. So it's three months, use the first two months to purchase. What happens when the campaign is over? You get to keep all the stuff you earn, however you can't earn more. Counter-Strike, Counter-Strike, Jesus. Counter-Strike style. Will the campaign affect existing time drops in game? No. Crate drops, time drops, and purchases are still fully functional. Nothing goes away. So you're not forced to buy it at all in any way, shape, or form. Can I trade or sell these weapons and cases? Yes. Campaign exclusive weapons and cases have identical functionality to existing economy items. You mentioned something about map makers getting a portion of profits. I'm a map maker. How do I participate? A portion of profits from the sale of campaign passes will go to the creators of the maps featured in this campaign. If you'd like your map to be conserved for future campaigns, submit them to the maps workshop. I run DirectX 8 and I try to bypass. The game said something about it being incompatible? Question mark? The majority of the update works just fine for DirectX 8. Contracts, drop, coins, and maps. They all work. Unfortunately, the uniquely decorated weapons do not. When you are playing with DirectX 8, you will only see the basic, undecorated weapons. This is true both of your own and others' weapons. To gain access to unique weapon decorations, run Team Fortress with DirectX 9. Players running DirectX 8 should remove mat underscore DX level, this right here, from their config files and add dash DX level 95, and there's a space here, to their launch options. So that's about it for the Gun Metal Team Fortress 2 update. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the Rusty Chains channel to see archives of our hilarious live streams. And also keep watching Rusty Chains games coverage for more achievement guides, easter egg videos, news videos like this, and coming soon full game reviews. Thanks everyone, and until next time, stay rusty.